<laughs> Honey Heart C. Hello, mini fans. It is Star Stable time, so let's see what exactly is going on in this town. Whoa, look at it! So where should we ride to? Yeah, so we're gonna go do some show jumping. So let's come on in. Ooh, it's kind of busy in here. Hey, look at her horse. Her horse is just standing on the jump. Ooh, we're gonna race. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo! Now this is a very, very, very tricky, tricky course. Oh, don't miss the jump. Woo! Her horse is fast. Woo! Okay, we're all racing now, you guys. Here we go, here we go. We're all turning the corner to race! Ah! No, I couldn't do it! No! Oh no! Now I have to catch up! I'm in last place! This girl is still just standing on the jump! Ooh! We're all riding! I think the Forgotten Fields is so pretty and it's like the perfect place for a trail ride, you guys. Look at how awesome everybody's horses are. They're so beautiful. Adeline said that this is her brand new horse. Look at how beautiful she is. So, so, so gorgeous. Oh, and this is one of the new ones too. No, my game crashed! Here we go, here we go, here we go! We're racing, we're racing, we're racing! Oh, we've got some jumps. Woo! Oh no, I fell into the water. No, I fell into the water. Now I have to catch up. I'm so far behind now. Wait a minute, maybe I'll be able to catch up. Come on, honey heart, come on. He's supposed to be a super fast thoroughbred, but their horses are super fast too. Ooh, so close. We're catching up. Oh, I think I'm just not fast enough. Ah! We're coming up to the finish line. It's a close one. Oh, awesome race. So now we're gonna go to a very, very secret spot on the map. So Isla says she knows exactly where it is. This is so exciting. I've never been to a secret location before. Ooh, we're coming up to this house. Careful, we're on the edge of the cliff. Careful, careful. Whoa, she's sliding down, careful. Oh, there is a secret location. What is this? Oh, there's like a heart and a pony. It looks like somebody's been playing up here. Whoa, look at all these items. Somebody was definitely over here. This is so weird. Whoa, look at all of us looking at it. There's three hearts. That's a heart for each of us. Mm, I think I want cake now. Can you ride over to the cafe and get me cake? It's really tasty. Please, it's my birthday. I want a big piece because I'm really hungry. Okay, now we're gonna ask Catherine at the cafe for a piece of cake for this little girl. Mm, a piece of cake sounds super duper delicious. I think I'm gonna order a slice too. Let's see, go on right over here to the cafe. Hey Catherine, can I order two pieces of cake please? Sure, for Lisa. She eats too much sugar. I really don't want to give Lisa more cake because it's just too much for her, but she can have this delicious orange. It's nature's candy. Oh, I guess it is her birthday after all. All right, take this piece of cake and give it to her. She was gonna give her an orange for her birthday? Okay, she should definitely have a piece of cake for her birthday. We're gonna go eat the cake together. Yum, yum. All right, Lisa, I got cake for you. Oh, yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Happy birthday to me. Oh, I would love some more. Can I have your slice? Uh, sure, you can have it. Thank you, as a thank you, do you want to test my jumping course? I made it myself out of my toys. She actually made a little jumping course? Yeah, I want to try this out. What? Look at this jumping course. This is super nice. I thought it would be made out of like building blocks and Legos and Barbies, but it's not. Woo. Ooh, it's a little bit hard though. Oh, my horse is having a hard time. Oh no. Can I do it? Can I do it? Ooh, jump. My horse does not turn very well. I have to do this like super duper slow. She is a new jumper still. She has not jumped for very long. Oh, it's a big one. Whoa, can we do it? Can we jump over the fruit? Oh, and jump. Whoa, we're doing it. Yes. Okay, that was a cool jumping course. So who do we have over here? This is Kent. Oh, blast the telephone. It's always with this new technology. It never works. I'm just angry at my silly new phone. Doesn't want to work and it's just a piece of junk. The reception is bad. I can barely call from it. Can you take my phone and ride it around to the three cell phone masks around here on the island? Maybe you can pick up a reception. So this is so weird about the cell phone. So let's go take his cell phone and let's go ride out to some of these different towers and see if maybe we can figure out what is going on. Careful, I'm like right on the edge. Okay, use his cell phone. Do I have reception? No. Okay, we'll go over to this tower. 
Bad reception. Oh, look at somebody's had a little picnic lunch up here. Test this reception. And it's still bad. Hmm, there must be something disrupting the cell phone traffic. All three masks breaking down at once is very unlikely. I agree. I definitely think it is something that GED is doing. So go over and check it out. See what those GED shady types are doing. And then let Jill know what's going on. So let's ride on over and just spy on GED and see what they're doing. They're gonna be up to no good. Even though every time I spied on them, they were all working and kind of just roaming around. So where are these guys? Oh, there they are, they're down there. Oh no, can I get down there? There's so many cliffs. I don't know if I can get down there. Oh no! Whoa. Ooh, what is this guy doing? He's doing something over there. Let's wait for him to leave. Okay, he's walking, he's walking. Oh, he's turning around, okay. He's going away. So what is this thing? Look at, we found an illegal transmitter. What are they doing? Ooh, Jill needs to know about this. I would let Jack know, but Jack doesn't seem to care, even though he is the mayor. Jill, 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 I found an illegal transmitter. Hmm, you did? That's interrupting cell traffic? Well, that explains a thing or two. I have lots of complaints from people saying that the cell reception has been really bad. Hmm, Mrs. Drake has denied everything. I've confronted her and she says GED are working within the law. Uh, I don't think they are if they're using an illegal transmitter. Give this message to Mrs. Drake. I've written a letter to say that GED has to remove all the transmission equipment immediately. Tell her she has exactly 24 hours to comply. Oh, she is not going to be happy. What do you want? A letter from Jill Goldspor? Hmm, I guess I'm gonna have to fire somebody. Maybe Chief Moron, he'll get the boot. No, I'll fire the whole team. Well, you can just tell Jill that the transmission equipment will be removed at once. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Um, I don't really trust her. Yeah, she's not gonna move that equipment. I don't think so. Um, Jill, she said she's gonna remove the equipment. That's, that's what she said. Good work, Agata. But I don't trust that, Mrs. Drake. Yeah, me neither. Now that illegal transmission equipment is gone, Kent Jarlson's cell phone should be back in action. Write over to him and tell him the good news. All right, awesome. All right, Kent, your cell phone should be working. Oh, good. Now let me go ahead and call my daughter who lives in Yorvik City. Uh, good morning, Baroness. Okay, so she was working on a racetrack and I know she's very concerned about GED right now. Ooh, you can see them working away. Look at this, does not look good, you guys. Look at them, they're just drilling oil like crazy all over the place. How can they do this? Hey, there's Mr. Kimball right there. Let's talk to Mr. Kimball. Well, 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 what do we have here? So we meet again. This oil is mine and nothing will stop me from drilling oil here. Not even you. So take your stupid wild riding free horse away. I don't want to see you again. <gasps> Mr. Kimball, you are a bad, bad man. I'm going to stop this. We are definitely going to put a stop to this. Hey, look it. Look at the oil that's just leaking all over the place. This is so horrible for the environment, you guys. This is not good. So let's go check and see if the racetrack is still here, if it's been affected. Ew, look at the oil spill. This is just not good. Hey, what is this? <gasps> no, it looks like GED started to put a fence around this track. Oh, that's not good. Look at all of this concrete and cement. Oh, this could be a very, very beautiful racetrack, but it's hard to tell because there's just so much rubble going on. All right, Spirit, we're gonna jump over all this rubble and see if maybe we can use the racetrack anyways. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. We can weave in and around all of this debris, jump over the cement. This is a pretty nice racetrack. Ooh, you have to make sure that the horses don't hurt themselves though on all of that cement. Okay, cool. So we'll go tell the Baroness that at least the racetrack isn't too bad of shape. I mean, we can pick up all that rubble. Look at how cute this little cow is. Isn't it so cutesy, cutesy, cutesy? Really, you jumped over the rubble? You used my racetrack? Well, what an idea. It's not the most fanciest, but I hope they finish it soon. You should ride over there from time to time to see if there's been any progress. Okay, cool. See, she was definitely a little bit more relaxed today. The racetrack was in good enough condition. Yeah, because there's so much oil spillage, I would definitely keep track of how the soil is doing. So we gotta make sure that all the soil is really nice and very good and pure and that you can grow things out of it. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm taking soil samples from the vineyard. These grapes wanna grow in a healthy soil environment. Here you go, Carney, here are the samples. Hmm, what were the results? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, we'll need to have these tests analyzed for more detail, thank you. Oh no, the soil, I don't know if the soil's very good. Um, hi, do you have the soil test results back? Oh yes, here we go. I'm afraid we were looking at some badly contaminated grapevines here. Wine from these grapes would probably taste like detergent, like a Tide Pod. <gasps> oh, 
school. So here, take the results and watch out for GED people on your way back. Ooh, those GED are up to no good, you guys. I knew it. They should probably stop all production at their vineyard right away since the grapes are no good. I mean, nobody would be crazy enough to eat a Tide Pod. Um... Hello, the Baroness. I have some news. Oh, GED's oil field has contaminated my soil and grapevines. I'm so glad that we were able to test out the soil and find out that it was unfortunately not good, but at least now something is going to be done about it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Star Stable. Make sure to press the subscribe button. That way you get the newest Star Stable video and you don't miss out on any of the adventures. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, mini fans. Thank you to my amazing mini fans for playing with me. Look at how awesome they are. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are absolutely the best. This was so much fun. I love hanging out with you guys in Star Stable. Yay! <laughs> mini fans, you're at the end of the video. Yay! Thank you so much for riding along with me. How well were you paying attention to the video? Do you remember how many hearts were found at the secret location where I was hanging out with my awesome mini fans? Were there two? three, four, or five hearts. Bye, minis!